Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode in the Spring series. In this episode, I'm going to show you how to do setter injection using the Spring framework. Last episode, we saw how to do field or property injection, so dependency injection using the fields um, in the Spring framework. You, all you got to do is put the auto wire orientation above the field that you want to inject it to, and Spring will do the rest. And also, before that, we saw how to do constructor injection using the Spring framework. So the final type of injection I want to show you is how to do setter injection. This is one that I don't see as much, but it's still used. So to do this, all we're going to do is, first of all, get rid of the auto-wired annotation here. And what we're going to do is create a setter method for this game provider service dependency. So code, generate, setter, and boom. So it's a very, very standard setter method. It actually looks very similar to the constructor that we had. Um, you just have public void set game provider service because this is called game provider service. And then you're passing in the dependency and then you're setting the dependency. So this dot game provider service is equal to game provider service. And now to tell Spring that we want to do setter injection, we'll mark it with auto wired. There we go. So I'm sure you can guess what's gonna happen here. So whenever the bean is created, the arcade service bean, Spring will recognize two things. First of all, that there is a dependency of game provider service and that that dependency has to be auto wired using a setter injection. So it's gonna use the setter method here to inject that service into the arcade service. So it's going to find that game provider service. It knows that game provider service is a bean, so it's gonna inject that game provider service object into the arcade service setter method here. And then therefore you will have an arcade service uh, bean for you to use, which we are doing here in the main method. So if we run this, nothing will change because uh, it's still being injected and uh, it still works, good. So it says it started and then it stopped, awesome. So again, nothing has really changed except that the method of injection is being changed. So we're doing setter injection this time using a simple setter method. And of course you can change this to be called whatever you want, like poopy, and it'll still work. But that's not recommended just because of course it makes more sense to have a method that's named based on what it's doing. But if we run this, it'll still work because it's because we have the auto wired annotation here and that we're passing in the game provider service and knows that that is how the dependency is going to be injected and Spring is just very intelligent and knows that. So it'll still work, okay? But of course, don't be stupid. <laughs> Okie dokie, so those are the three types of injection I'll be showing you using Java annotations. In the next episode, I'll be showing you how to code to an interface because commonly with beans, you don't want to have your services as concrete objects and just inject those directly. But uh, you'll see that in a second, don't worry about all that. So anyway, hopefully you found this very interesting. Now you know how to do very, very basic dependency injection using the Spring Framework. So stay tuned for uh, further instruction. All right, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. In the description below, I'll leave a link to the code for this episode so you can check it out. You can bookmark it, come back to it later. If you forget any concepts or you just want to review the concepts I taught in this video, I'll mark everything up with comments so you can come back and read the code without having to rewatch the video, although your reviews are greatly appreciated. So yeah, I'll leave a link for that in the description below, so make sure to check it out. And another thing is I'll leave a link to our Discord server. It's a big community for programmers. You can ask for help on your programming projects if you're stuck on something, or maybe you can get some new friends. If you don't have any friends, there's lots of people here. It's growing really fast. You can get, uh, you can find lots of people who are passionate about the same things as you. For example, if you like Minecraft uh, Spigot development, uh, you can find people, lots of people who like that. If you like C++, if you like Java, if you like web development, it's a really, really big programming community. So uh, feel free to join. There's a link for that in the description below. And the last thing I want to tell you is that if you want to support this channel, you can click the join button below this video and you can join this channel as a member for as low as 99 cents a month and you can cancel at any time. You get some cool perks like early access to all of my new videos, a cool rank on my Discord server like you see right here on the side, YouTube members. And also you get to see yourself on the screen like you see right now. So if that sounds cool to you, feel free to join. If you don't want to, that's fine. If you can't, that's okay too. Um, I really just uh, appreciate you watching the video anyway. And uh, thank you. Thanks a lot. And that's it. So if you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And peace.